The program regularly scheduled at this time will not be seen so that I may bring you, my friend, the Gadget Guru. A microwave oven that automatically pops popcorn. A telephone that lets you see the person you're speaking with. And a sneak preview of some new items that aren't in stores yet. All that and more on The Gadget Guru. Here's your host, Sharon Steakley, and Gadget Guru, Andy Parr. You know, you're never too old to play with toys. That's right. And whether your favorites are high-tech trinkets or more practical playthings, we're here to show you the finest and some of the most unusual products on the market. Hi, I'm Sharon Steakley. And I'm the gadget guru, Andy Parr. Don't worry, this is not another home shopping show. We're not here pushing a particular brand name product or store. But in the next 30 minutes, we're going to do a little shopping for you. We're going to give you a look at some new creative contraptions that will make your life easier and more fun. Tonight, we'll tell you what's hot and what's not. We'll make some recommendations to you on what to buy and what to avoid. But first up, we're going to take a look at pop art. Which is the fine art of making marvelous microwave popcorn. Now, you know, Andy, I have got a passion for popcorn, but every time I cook it in my microwave, I end up with 50 unpopped kernels or I burn the bag to smithereens. Well, don't blame your cooking, Sharon. Blame your microwave oven. There are some foods an ordinary microwave won't do justice, but here's a new product that could be the answer to your popping prayers. This is Sharp's new ESP sensor microwave oven, and here's what makes it so special. This is its sensor control. It will automatically set the cooking level and timer for you. It has a built-in sensor that automatically senses the aromas and vapors emitted from the popcorn during popping, so you'll have perfectly popped popcorn every time. It will also work with other foods, whether it be a baked potato or freshly made soup or even a frozen entree. This feature will be available on two of their ovens this fall and will sell for $400 and $600. So what's the best brand of microwave popcorn to use in your new oven? Here's Sharon to tell you. Andy, this is the kind of product review that most popcorn connoisseurs would kill for. But after tasting all this, I think I gained a couple of pounds. Anyway, all those calories started with Betty Crocker microwave popcorn. It cost $2.49. It has a sweeter taste, which was unusual. Salt and butter have good balance. It's not very crisp, and it wasn't very fluffy. The taste is okay, nothing great. Next is Planner's popcorn. It also cost $2.49. This popcorn is extremely salty. I think the planner's company got the popcorn confused with the peanuts, but it tastes fresh and it's crunchy. It has a great texture. However, this is the brand with those 50 unpopped kernels. You gotta watch this one. Next is Orville Redenbacher. Not only is it hard to say, it's hard to swallow. It's not real salty. It's buttery, it's not very chewy, and it tastes a little artificial. It's hard to explain, and it's not as fluffy as most. However, in this one, every kernel pops. Next is Jiffy Pop. Now, this one cost $1.49. It's expensive. Most microwave popcorns cost about 80 cents a bag with three bags in a box. But Jiffy Pop is priced almost doubled, and you only get one serving. But I think this popcorn is worth every penny. It's fun to eat, and kids will love it. However, you need to eat this popcorn immediately after popping. It's so buttery, it becomes soggy fast. But all considered, it tastes great. Next is Pillsbury frozen microwave popcorn. It costs $1.79, with each bag only costing 60 cents. It's one of the cheaper popcorns. It's very crunchy, not too salty, not too buttery, very fresh, and it has a real unusual nutty taste. Plus, it's not too filling, and he's eating all the popcorn. Well, let me ask the question, is it easier to pop this type of packaging versus the bag? Well, yeah, I think so. With Jiffy Pop, all you do is stick it in the microwave oven, and it comes in a self-bowl. So you can eat straight out of the dome. Exactly. As a matter of fact, you're paying for the bowl. That's why it's so expensive, is the packaging. You don't mind if I partake for a moment, do you? Oh, <laughs> bad joke there. Which one do you like? Well, this is, I haven't tried your favorite yet, but this tastes good. I like good buttery popcorn. I, I thought you'd like that. Mm, it is good. I like you it. You play with it. It's a gadget. Very typical. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back. When we come back, we'll straighten you out on the confusing subject of buying a camcorder with our special guest, Charlie Chase. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome back. Our next guest is probably familiar to you. Let's see, Crook and Chase, This Week in Country Music, and Channel 4 Magazine. I'd like to welcome Charlie Chase. Thank you. Charlie, what are you doing here? Popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> it's free. Do you like it? <laughs> Any brand imaginable is here on the set. No, actually, right. I, I'll tell you why I'm here, honestly. Because I called Andy Parr, or my personal gadget guru, who's been on with me uh, on you know, magazine several years, and I told him I was actually in the market to buy a video recorder. And let's face it, I mean, there's so many brands out there, I didn't know exactly what to buy, so I called him, and he said, well, come on the show, and we'll discuss it there, along with everybody else, so that's why I'm here. Well, Charlie, the first thing, you know, that I have to ask you to help us get this down, how much do you want to spend to buy a camcorder? Well, <laughs> how much do I have to spend? Well, you, question, could, so. you could go anywhere between $700 and $1,700. All right, what's the big difference in there? Well, the difference is, for example, that first camera down there, this one? that camera or a camera similar to that would sell for about $700. Now, the best example I can give you on that camera is, you remember the old Brownie camera back 20 years ago? Mm -hmm. A quick point-and-shoot camera, easy to load, very easy simple. to use. That's exactly what that is. It's a very easy-to-use camera. As you get up into the higher price ranges, you get mm -hmm. a lot of automatics, uh, power focus, power zoom, things right. like that. And on the focus, the, by the way, the autofocus is something that I highly, highly recommend because when you're right. shooting at home, it makes your quality of your pictures much better. Okay, now look at this one here. Now, see, let, me, let me turn this around. And on the back, you see all these buttons and everything. This looks like something I need or would want in features, but it looks like it might be difficult to operate, is it? Well, a camera like that compared to the first one you saw, that has a built-in deck on it. So you can play mm -hmm. your movies back straight from that camera into your video recorder. Okay. Play it right back, or excuse me, into your television so you won't need a second deck to, to play it back on if you don't have one at home. Okay, now all the, let's get to the formats. Okay. I mean, I hear V. I bought a beta machine, okay, several years ago. It's almost like they don't exist anymore. Beta, for all practical purposes right now, yeah, is dead. It's right. But if you would have bought a beta camera two years ago, it'd be just as good if it had that built-in deck because mm -hmm. you could run a cable straight from the back of the camera into your television or into another video recorder, okay. a VHS, and make a copy. All right, now my big question is, which format do I buy to ensure that it's not going to be an antique five years from now and they change to a different format? You've got, uh, what, well, yeah, Super v 8, you've got VHS, VHS-C. Well, 8 millimeter is the newest format on the market. You get up to two hours, one, one hour per tape at the highest quality, or up to two hours per tape. Mm -hmm. That's new, and it appears there's a lot of companies, Sony and Canon, getting on that bandwagon there. VHS has been around the longest, but the newer formats are these two cameras over here that are VHS-C. Okay. It's a compact cassette, about the same size as an audio cassette, but it pops in an adapter, and then that way you can play it back in any home VHS okay. unit. In other words, you could play it back through this, or in a VHS unit, you put it in a little cartridge type thing and it plays it back? Is play, play it back right there. Okay. But the most important thing when you're looking at the prices of these is to look at the lenses. You're going to have a fixed focal length lens, you're going to have mm -hmm. a 6 to 1 zoom and a 10 to 1 wait, zoom. Wait, 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 what's this 10-1-6-1? Uh, well, Charlie, the best way to show you well, is to show you. Okay. We have Suzanne Pittman standing over here on the other side of the studios. Mm -hmm. We've got some cameras on her over here. And as you can see, all three of those shots are basically alike. That's because they're on a fixed focal length mm -hmm. situation. That means you're zoomed all the way out. That's it. On a lesser expensive camera, on a cheaper camera, that's all you'll get. Now, as you step up, the one on the right, you'll see it zooms in, and that'll be about what a six to one zoom is. Okay. Now, you're, how far from Suzanne are you right there? Well, I guess we're about 25 feet okay. maximum. Right. But then you can bring it up to the waist shot. And then as you get to a 10 to one zoom, you can bring all this in even further. Okay. Now, as you can see on this, the more you pay, and that's basically one of the differences on your lenses, mm -hmm. as you get up to a fourteen or fifteen hundred dollar camera, you're going to get a much higher quality lens. She's a great looking feature on that camera. <laughs> she, she really is. Where is she in here? <laughs> <laughs> Over there on the other side of the studio. All now, right. now, we're going to make this easier for people now. Okay. We have come up with a brochure. Oh, now, if you'd one. like okay. to know more about how to buy uh, a video camera, you can Get this free brochure on how to buy using care for video recorders, camcorders, and tape by mailing a self-addressed stamped envelope to VCR in care of the Electronic Industries Association, P.O. Box 19100, Washington, D.C., 20036. That's VCR, P.O. Box 19100, Washington, D.C., 20036. Now, Charlie, I hope that you feel a little bit more comfortable mm -hmm. about shopping for camcorders. Now on to a videotape format that I'm sure you're a little more familiar with. Sure. Home video movies. 
Movie reviewer Jimmy Carter is with us now to give us the 10 most popular videos at the stores today. You know, the movies we watch at home are not necessarily the same ones we would see at the local movie theater. In fact, some home video films were big stinkers at the box office. The top ten list I have for you tonight includes a few of those stinkers trying to make a quick buck from the video store, so be careful. Number ten, Nuts with Barbara Streisand. This movie's pretty good. Richard Dreyfuss is also in it. It's not that bad. I'd say rent it especially if you like Miss Barbara, and she's one of your favorites. Number nine, Couch Trip. This film has its moments, too, but Dan Aykroyd just can't seem to click without a good sidekick. Still not terrible for a Sunday afternoon's entertainment. Number eight, Adventures in Babysitting. Now, I know some folks like this one, but it did nothing for me. I'd rather watch David Brinkley than spend a dollar on this movie. Number seven, Hello Again. This movie was just at the movie house. It was pretty good. Not that many people saw it. I didn't like it. Andy likes it. Some wonderful performances, according to Andy. I'd say pass. Shelley Long, mm -mm. Number six, Untouchables. This film got Sean Connery his first Oscar and Kevin Costner his meal ticket for years to come. It's a nice film. Number five, Taffin. Someone called Price Waterhouse. This movie is and was a bomb, and how it got here, I don't know. Check the ballots. I want an audit. Do not rent. Mistake. Number four, Throw Mama from the Train. Mama is ugly and she is great. This is a silly movie with Billy Crystal and Danny DeVito, but I liked it. Mama got an Oscar nomination, and she deserved it. The whole family might even like this one, but you better check the language. It's a little bit salty. Number three, Fatal Beauty. This is Whoopi Goldberg now trying to be a movie star and not terribly successful. It wasn't that bad a movie. In fact, if you like action adventure, it'll do. Number two, Fatal Attraction, the scariest movie that I've ever seen. It's real, it was a smash hit, and it'll be on top here for a long while. But please, don't take a date to this one. Number one, Full Metal Jacket, a disappointment at the box office, but it's a fine film about the Vietnam War from great Stanley Kubrick. Much better, though, than Platoon, and it came a little late, though, to be appreciated. So I'd say definitely rent this one, Full Metal Jacket. It's a must for the war movie fans. That's the top ten this week at the Home Video Store. The top ten video rentals were compiled and brought to you by the Video Store, located in the Post Square Shopping Center on White Bridge Road. Welcome back. Up until a moment ago, I've never even heard of a visual telephone. And now Andy tells me I'm about to use it. Well, that's right, Sharon. And you've got to take a good look at these phones. These are not a regular telephone. I'd say not. It's a video telephone. It's the latest in technology, and yes, it is available today. Now, instead of trying to explain it to you and all the complicated things and how it works, you pick up that phone here. Right. Let's pretend you're in Hollywood, okay. and I'm here in Nashville, and you're going to make a phone call to me. So go on and dial my number over here. I don't need instructions. You're going to give them Not to at me. all. You have the number written down. Just, right. just punch in those numbers. 20. And when the phone rings, we're in two different cities, okay. and we'll talk to each other. And we'll both realize that we both have the latest Visitel, which is the new buzzword for visual telephones. All right. Now, Sharon, what I'm going to do now I'm going to look into the lens. These things consist of a lens and a TV screen. I see that. I'm going to pose, give a big smile. I'm going to hit send. At that point, my picture will be transmitted to you. The gadget guru. Now, what you do is hit the view pose hit view button. Pose. Okay. Okay. And then you focus yourself and transmit it back to me. Okay. I punch send. Now you hit send. All right. And you'll transmit this right back to me. And this will show up on my monitor. Now, right now, okay. we are having a video telephone call. Basically, it's a video snapshot, not a, a true video picture. But we can store up to three pictures at one time, and we can change them anytime we want to. So, so to change them, you, all you do is punch send. Punch send again. Just look back in there and punch send. And you, know, you take These a great neat. video snapshot here. <laughs> Thanks. These are neat. Well, I mean, where do you get these? Well, you can get these, you know, at any electronic store. But you know what's really fun about these? They're not complicated at all. You hook them up the exact same way you would an answering machine. You plug it in for power, and then from there, you uh, just plug in your so modular plug. So you don't plug. need any wiring, special wiring or anything like Nothing that? Nothing at all. Just think the application. It's great for grandma and the kids and teenagers and the business applications. But you've got to have your makeup on and no, no curlers or well, anything see, like that. Well, the thing is you can close your lens so that if you answer your phone, it's not transmitted. So it's not necessary to have the picture. No, not, not at all. Now, I did find these at the recent Summer Consumer Electronics Show. We brought some more things for you to look at right now. This is it, a gadget lover's heaven. 
This year, more than 100,000 people visited the Summer Consumer Electronics Show in Chicago, where more than 1,400 exhibitors displayed the latest in technology. One of the most innovative product introductions was Panasonic's new EIS video camcorder. EIS stands for Electronic Image Stabilization, which helps eliminate jitter caused by movement during recording. As you can see from this demonstration, the camera on the left is a regular camcorder. The unit on the right has the new EIS lens. Both cameras are experiencing the exact same movement. The monitor on the left corresponds to the standard unit, which, as you can see, is difficult to watch because of the jitter effect. The monitor on the right, however, is much easier to watch due to the EIS camcorder's jitter compensation circuitry. The Panasonic EIS camcorder will be on retailer shelves this fall and expected to sell for under $2,000. With projected sales of $2.3 billion this year, video games are definitely coming back. Nintendo, the current industry leader, has introduced the PowerPad interactive control mat. This mat lets a player's body movements control the action of the characters on the screen. The power pad is a plastic mat about four feet by four feet that has built-in electronic sensors. In stocking feet, kids and adults can activate games that are played on it. Probably the greatest benefit of all is that the couch potatoes of the world can now get their daily dose of aerobic exercise without leaving the comfort of their living room. Also introduced by Nintendo was the Roland Rocker, which is a foot steering control for their units. Used in conjunction with the standard hand controller, the Roland Rocker lets you steer through the game with your feet. But you better be careful because if you lose your balance, you could crash. The Nintendo Entertainment System will sell for under $100. The Power Pad and Roland Rocker are extra. No, this isn't just a cute stuffed animal. It's also a high-tech telephone. Meet Rex Barkaphone. Instead of a ring to signal an incoming call, Rex barks to let his master know to answer the phone or realistically to answer the dog. Rex also has an optional bone, or shall I say, a bone phone. Rex will sell for $149 and his bone will sell for $18. You can buy Rex a Playmate for only $99. This is the Fido phone. Fido comes with his own bone, but he's just not as cuddly as Rex. If you think these phones have been a bit funny, I'm sure that you'll get a chuckle out of this. This is the Bozo phone. To signal an incoming call, Bozo does what he does best. He laughs and his nose turns red. Bozo will sell for $89.95. A Bozo phone? Who would want something like that? Hey, Sharon, I would. Oh, boy. I can't believe she doesn't like that. Sharon and I will be right back. Well, welcome back. Now, Charlie, we've, we've all been admiring these. Charlie's back with us here. He <laughs> asked me a question, and I admit I forgot to tell you how much. Yeah. These Mitsubishi Visitels right now are selling just a little bit under $400. Prices okay. are predicted over the next year or so to come down just a little bit, but not a lot. But the important part is on these visual telephones mm -hmm. is that it costs no more to, take, to make a video phone call than it does to make... A regular you phone have to call. tell the phone company that you're hooked up to these? Absolutely not. I mean, no you, you can if you want to, but really, that's not important these days anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. To go from go. there. All now, right. I know we talked about the camcorders. Yeah. You called me a couple weeks ago. Are you a little bit more straight now? Yeah. Is I it clear as mud? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you. I made, I made this assumption okay, here's here. Okay. The Super VHS or the, the VHS one, Compact. Yeah, yeah, I like this one because of the capabilities. You can... Uh, take the cartridge out and play it in that, uh, you know, yeah, in, play, in your regular adapter. VHS machine. Right, mm -hmm. you take that out. And I figure, you know, with two different formats running, this and the VHS adapted, I'm okay. For, you know what else is good about this, Charlie? Yeah, it sounds safe. Right? Yeah, it sounds safe. safe. Yes. You know, I, I know that, that you have, you know, your brother out in the West Coast. Right. You can go out and shoot video on the golf course on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Go back to his house. Whether he has a video recorder or not, right. you can plug that and watch it back on his TV. Mm -hmm. And when you're out on the golf course, you can also watch it back through the viewfinder and make sure you got that shot. You know, another thing, this is light because uh, the old unit I used to have, and I had a beta unit, 
was so heavy because you had to carry around that unit over your shoulder plus have this. And well, this you know, is all one unit. So, yeah, it's come along. You're way. talking about how light it is. One thing that I got to tell you about this, <clears throat> mm -hmm. you see this camera we have sitting up here. This is okay. what's a broadcast beta cam. This is the big one. When, when the news crews like go out, this is the yeah. one that they carry. The footage we saw a few moments ago at the Consumer Electronics Show was not shot with that camera. It was shot with the one you have in your hand. This one? So not only his size, <laughs> but the quality has gotten better. Well, I'm impressed. I really am. Well, so I know we'll be writing one up for you very, very shortly. Well, you know. Okay. When, well, does, we, this go, when does this go on sale? Well, um, hopefully sometime before Christmas. <laughs> right after the show, I think. Right after the show. In fact, so... I'll sell you a slightly used one and give you a real good deal. Okay, very good. Well, now, that's good. Thanks. Well, so. we thank you for joining us here. If you have any questions, comments, or opinions, please give us a, drop us a note here to the Gadget Guru, WSMV TV, P.O. Box 4, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. We thank you for joining us. Y'all have a good night, and thank you again very much. You bet. Papa? No thanks. <laughs> I think I'll take Furniture provided by European Antique Imports and Cabinets Plus. Sharon and Andy's wardrobe provided by McClure's.